esterification of phenols with carboxylic acid. Now, phenol cannot esterify with carboxylic acid to form ester, cannot. Why? Anyone know? Ladies and gentlemen, remember Romeo, Romeo cannot come together. Juliet, Juliet cannot come together. Disclaimer, no prejudice against LGBTQ group. But ladies and gentlemen, carboxylic acid is an acid. A phenol is also an acid, they repel. The Juliet and Juliet don't like to come together based on all sciences and math. However, they can react with acid chloride. Why? Because acid chloride is not an acid. We never learned that. It doesn't dissociate. So phenol can react with acid chloride right, uh, to form what we call phenate esters. It's exactly the same. Let me show you what is it. All right. So find the ester linkage. Chop. Chop. Ah. Ready? Two color. The orange is here, which is from the phenol group. And this is from the acid chloride, which we saw it just now already. And the name wise, if you know what I'm going to do, reverse the sequence. Done. So the alcohol or the phenol is always written first, shown last in the structure. Am I okay? Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze it. And uh, again, room condition very, uh, is good enough. All right, uh, don't need catalyst anything because acid chloride is what? It's very, very reactive. All right, we talked about this a lot, time three. Okay, and I want you to take note of this kind of ester that has a phenol inside there. It has a name, it's called phenate ester. Phenate comes from phenol. All right, very easy. So normal ester, nothing to discuss. Those from alcohol, those with the phenol, we call phenate esters. We'll stop. Okay. One last part. Okay, uh, if you check your TYS, this is how they play uh, this section of the notes. They don't do this. They say this is good, fast, but not good enough. They do this. Alternatively, phenol can be first converted to phenoxide salt before reacting with acid chloride. So what happened is here. Take a look at uh, the phenol. They didn't react with the acid chloride directly. They convert to here first. What reaction is this? Acid metal reaction, i.e. redox reaction. What they want is the phenoxide ion there. And after which, they then add in the acid chloride. This is known as nucleophilic substitution, like Rx like that, but it's slightly different because it involves acid chloride. So they add in the word acetal. I'll be teaching you this nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction. So you have this, this come from the word acid chloride. Okay, but why would they want to do this? Okay, let me give you the answer, right? Why would they want to do a two step rather than one step? Simply because, ladies and gentlemen, remember that anions are better what? Anions are stronger nucleophiles. This is a nucleophilic reaction, isn't it? Then the neutral molecule. Phenol is neutral. Phenoxide ion is an anion. It's more desperate. All right. Because they want to release and remove or reduce their negative charge. Okay, let me show you what's happening here. Here, reaction mechanism wise. Okay, follow me. Uh, this is your acid chloride. I will not wait until that topic. Let me show you here first. Okay, this is acid chloride, which looks like Rx. This is your delta plus. This is delta minus. Okay, let me show you phenol then. Phenol look like this. We just need one lone pair. We should dative in to that. This bond too much already. You'll come back bent up. And this will also bend back. And this is where you get your ester.
and the byproduct here. Okay, so if you look at it, it's very similar to your nucleophilic substitution of Rx, alcohol halide. The only thing now is that it involves an acid chloride rather than an alcohol halide. Okay, and therefore we have a special word called acyl just to differentiate that. Else everything is the same. And which also means this is acting as a nucleophile. Yes. And remember, I mentioned the phenoxide is better. Let's check it out. What is phenoxide? Phenoxide just this, right? Phenoxide means this is a negative ion. That's it. Lots of lone pair around it, three. If not, everything is the same. Can you see? Everything is the same. Whereby it makes it stronger because it's more desperate due to the negative charge. All right, still nucleophilic acyl substitution. And that's what uh, most chemists will do because it makes the reaction even go even faster, a lot faster. And the U will be higher. If you'd like to catch my latest videos, click on subscribe button right now. And click on the bell if you want to receive instant notifications once I've uploaded my latest video. If you'd like to join my live chemistry classes and revision workshops, go on to winnerseducation.com and find out how you can score distinction for chemistry on a consistent basis, either in our center or online via Zoom. If you want to check out my online school, go on to passwithdistinction.teachable.com. You'll be able to learn chemistry concepts at your own pace and anywhere in the world, topic by topic. This is Sean Chua from Winners Education to your distinction in chemistry.